Hello and welcome in another pet battle achievement guide. This time for Magician's Secret, which require to defeat 15 Master Tamers of Kulturan and Zandalar with a team of 25 level pets. And I did I didn't record Liana Darkwind. I didn't record uh Fizzy Spark Whistle because they're very, very weird fights. I mean, they're uh, too much RNG involved and I just decided to protect you from it. Yes, that's, that's what I did. So yeah, there you have it. And as always, I didn't use pets that are very, very difficult to get. So any, uh, any person can do it, just need to have enough pets to do it and yeah I think that's it so thank you for watching if you did and good luck with your achievement a barley I brought gloop with chomp a city go animated crewer crewer with slime trail drain blood and glop Shimmering Wormling with Flurry, Rain Power and Deflection. Start with Acidic Go. And then Tomp. Tomp again. We're gonna get hit for a lot. Uh, now, whatever, just pass. When Pokey comes in, use Acidic Go. And Chomp. He's gonna run now. He's gonna do faint death so I'm guessing confusing string gonna be oh look he did not wow that's usually not happened but he gonna do it now so whatever yeah exactly climb trail This pet will explode below 30%. Uh, so twice we pressed slime trail, now drain blood. And slime trail again. Now glop. And it's done. Just wait till till he die. I don't know, heal yourself or pass, whatever. And it's done. For Captain Hermes, I brought with me Enchanted Pen with Quills, Evanescence for Budding Curse, Archivist Quill with Quills, Hate Mail, Stay Wild List, and Jade Owl with Slicing Wind and Lift Off. Start with Wills. Next, go for Quills again. When Whirlpool happen, all we want to do is press Vanessence right turn before it explode. This way, we take no damage. So go for Quills. And Quill still it die. Now is it faster than us? It's not. So Quills. We apply for Bodin Curse on the only fastest a uh, faster uh, pet than we are. 
Okay, because he's submerged, we use Evanescence. And he, he can... Yeah. And Quill still he die. Now, the third pet, Shelby, is faster than us? No, it does, doesn't. So we just spam Quills. Why do I even drop for Bodding Curse? Yeah, I mean, doesn't matter. Just spam Quills till you can get Evanescence. I mean, pretty much Quills solo it. I just quills to finish him off. Ta da! Portelia Hanako, I brought Enchanted Pen with Quills, Evanescence, and Foreboding Curse. Archivist Quill with Quills, Hate Mail, Stay a While, and List, and Jadal with Slicing Wind, Adrenaline Rush, and Lift Off. Okay, we're faster anyway, okay, so all we do is quills, because for Budding Curse, there's nothing. We can Evanescence to just reduce damage taken, and quills. Yeah, it's nice to avoid two attacks, because he does leave a dot faster. And here we need to use Forbidden Curse. And Evanescence. Quills. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Okay, he's still slower than us. So we can quills. And that was very nice. I mean, cleansing wind, boosting aquatic abilities. But they're not aquatic. Never mind. <laughs> so what we can do is stay a while and listen. Interesting. Uh, hate mail. And spam quills. Wow, that was nice. For Dilbert McClint, I brought Eye of Corruption with Chaos Beam, Eye Blast, Life Exchange, a Cursed Hexer with Chaos Beam, Drain Blood, Weakness, and Enchanted Broom with Batter, Sandstorm, Wind Up. Now's the thing. If you start with Eye Blast on, uh, on the first pet, if he does this, just leave. And do it again, until it works. Why? It's just less messy. You're just gonna have straightforward fight. So, Eye Blast worked, now Chaos Beam. You don't lose like two turns on damage. It's just way better. And he applies some shit dot. It's like... We have a cooldown on it. <laughs> okay, second pet comes in, use um, Chaos Beam and Eye Blast. And just spam a Chaos Beam till you kill it. On third pet, use Life Exchange just to heal yourself up. And basically, uh, spam Chaos Beam. I'm gonna die here. 
no doubt. I'll bring whatever and just finish it off. Yeah, that was a strong attack, but as you can see, easy. Eddie fix it. For him, I brought Enchanted Cauldron with Burn, Heat Up, Extra Plating, Abyssus with Immolation, Flamethrower and Volcano, and Enchanted Torch with Burn, Immolation and Heat Up. Start with Extra Plating. Very important. Then go for Heat Up. And burn. Heat up is very important because the uh, spider does more than one attack sometimes in the turn, so it counts like two, three times, and it does a lot of damage. So yeah, burn again, and now we're weaker. Too bad. Go for burn. It's bit RNG, we could kill him but also not, so extra plating is important to reduce damage. Now burn. And here we're not gonna use heat up because we just burn him as long as we can. See, it's only one attack and it's just more to burn. Uh, now we're gonna die, so burn. I mean, yeah, 50%, we would die anyway, fine. Uh, okay. Go for flamethrower. Nice, he burned. You can go for volcano as well. And flamethrower again. Flamethrower. And flamethrower. He got stun. We use burn. And burn. And it's done. For Ellie Vern, I use gloop with thump, acidic go. Anomalous. With corrosion, toxic film, booms, and contagion strike, and also, and also a cursed hexer with arcane blast, drain blood, weakness. I welcome those who honor the sea. Start with a city go. And chomp. Chomp again. Uh, whatever, just pass. Start with the city go. Then for go for Trump. Okay, uh, reapply a city go. Oh, we want. Never mind, because we're slower. Okay, we got weakness. It uh, doesn't matter. Toxic fumes. Sadly, we cannot do more than, than 500, but fine. Contagion strike. Done. 
apply corrosion. And contagion strike. Toxic fumes if we can. Awesome. And it's done. Grady Pratt, which is RNG dependent fight. I'm sorry because RNG yeah, gets involved here by a lot. I used Eye of Corruption with Chaos Beam, Eye Blast, Life Exchange. Eye of Observation, which is easy to get also, like, yeah, both are easy. Eye Blast, Counter, counter Spell, and Power Ball, and a Cursed Hexer with Chaos Beam, Drain Blood, and Weakness. We fight for a new future. Start with Eye Blast. If you get hit three times here, well, you're, you're you have problems, okay? Then chaos beam, chaos beam again, and yeah, RNG screw you over because you're not gonna do damage to these scars. That's the problem. Because first pet sometimes just trash two, three times in a row. Sometimes he goes for hunting party. So, yeah. RNG. Uh, anyway, go for Eye Blast. Then Power Ball. Power Ball again. And hope you actually survive. If not, well, you're... Ugh. Just go for weakness. At least he's gonna do less damage to us. Yeah. And drain blood. Okay, little blue comes in, we use weakness. And chaos beam. Again, weakness. And drain blood. Weakness. And Chaos Beam. As you can see, RNG is really high here. But in my tries previously, I, I did. I killed two pets with Eye of uh, Corruption. Easily. Then Eye of Observation finished the, the, the little blue, and I never use Hacker's Hex Hacker's Hexer. So, depending on RNG, you have different results. So, I use those pets that kind of fight against RNG because you can still do it. So yeah, there you have it. Karaga and his BS required. Enchanted Broom with Bader, Sandstone, Wind Up. Blood Boil with Ustach, Expunge, Drain Blood and Oily Sim Slimeling with Ustach, Corrosion, Expunge. To be honest, this fight is super easy. So start with wind up and just basically use wind up twice, uh, four times. So wind up again. I mean, you could try butter, but it's just easier to press wind up four times. You'll die, that's for sure. So whatever you press, you you're dead. Oh, you're not. So I just... I did press butter. Doesn't matter. Bring blood boil. And use expunge. Mm. 
next Ustach. And drain blood. And then Ustach. Ah, annoying. And this way, you should be able to use Expunge. Yes, Expunge will hit it. Quite heavy. And then Ustach. No. So, yeah, it's all about Expunge. And then Expunge again. If it survived, press any other ability and it's done. On Kyo, I brought a Cursed Hexer with Arcane Blast and Drain Blood. There is merits to use weakness, however, I just go for Arcane Blast. Enchanted Broom with Butter, Sandstone Wind Up, and Sanctum Cup, Pounds, Stone Skin, Dodge. Like I said, Arcane Blast. And Arcane Blast. And Arcane Blast. And then Weakness. And Arcane Blast. Arcane Blast. Weakness perhaps, but he gonna dodge, so whatever. And since he has dodge, whatever. So we cannot do anything against it, because he kill us. In theory we could press weakness and then hit, but doesn't matter. Go for wind up. Oh, we're actually faster. Okay, and then wind up. And butter. Sandstorm. Wind up. And wind up. And again, same story. Just spam wind up. You're not gonna kill it though, but you can just reduce damage. I mean, reduce its HP. And when Sanctum Cub comes in, just bounce him. And done. It's messy a little bit, but... Don't worry, it's easy. Corval Dark Beard, I brought a cursed hexer with Arcane Blast Drain Blood Weakness, Eldritch Mana Fiend with Arcane Blast Surge of Power Soul Rush, and Erudite Mana Fiend with Arcane Blast Surge of Power Arcane Storm. Start with weakness. He goes up. Well, sadness. Then go for Arcane Blast. Next, go for Weakness again. Arcane Blast. Weakness. And Drain Blood. Arcane Blast if you can, of course you couldn't. Then Arcane Blast again. Now, are we faster than him? No, we're not. So weakness. Yeah, he gonna apply himself a toxic skin. We use Drain Blood. 
Next, we apply weakness again. God knows what the hell for. Oh, so we have another attack with Arcane Blast. And now we die. Yeah, he detonates himself at some point, so... It's nice if you can use Hexer to detonate it, if not, just go for a cane Blast. Now pass. When third pet comes in, use Soul Rush, maybe you'll get lucky and stun it. If not, just well, Sadness and Surge of Power if you can. See? Uh, I mean, BFA pets are so crap the fights because he press randomly abilities in my previous tries he used cyclone anyway arcane storm oh now he's cyclone i would kill him with that and surge of power just to finish him off because he's annoying done Okusa, I came with oops, the Archivist Quill with Plot Twist and Hate Mail, Sanctum Cab with Pounce, Stone Skin Dodge, and Jade Owl with Trash, and Adrenaline Rush if you need it. Do you have any news? We'll start with Hate Mail. And Plot Twist. Plot twist. And plot twist. And now we can just do one plot twist. And we're basically dead. So pass. And we're dead. So, Sanctum Cub. Start with dodge. Stone skin. Yeah, he does power ball. Uh, and pounce. Luckily, we have stone skin. Now he should burrow, yeah. Pounce. To finish him off. And we're slower than him, doesn't matter. We're gonna do stun skin this time around. And then dodge. And go for Pounce. And Pounce again, if we can. We can. Now we're dead, yep. Adrenaline Rush. And Trash. Trash again. And it's done. But Quint, I used a cursed hexer with chaos beam, drain blood, and weakness. And to be honest, most of the time you can solo the three pets with this. Most of the time. But as a backup, I have Eye of Corruption with Chaos Beam, Eye Blast in the Life Exchange, and Enchanted Broom with Butter, Sandstorm, and Wind Up. So what I do here, because a Cursed Hexer is faster than first and the last pet, so I always use Weakness. I slow them down a little bit, but I also reduce their damage. And because we're faster, 
we have apply it for two turns, not one, like for the second pet. So we spam, we press weakness. Chaos Beam. Now weakness. Drain blood. Weakness. Yeah, when he's angry, I mean, when he's uh, below 25%, he does more damage, so yeah. That's what I said, that's why I said most of the time. Okay, so we apply weakness. And life exchange. We're gonna be faster than him this time, and he's gonna stun us. Yeah. Sadly, we have to take it. Now weakness. Chaos Beam. Weakness. Stop hitting me like a beast. Brain Blood. Weakness. Off. Oh, man. Yeah, so. We try apply weakness again. To use drain blood. And now just chaos beam to finish him off. And now we're faster again than this Miss Mojo uh, Jr. So weakness whenever we can. I wonder if we can. Yeah, we're gonna have to heal, so Drain Blood is a critical situation. He does, yeah, we're, we're doomed. So just Chaos Beam till we die. I mean, second pet did us, did a lot of damage to us. Previously I did, did this as, as a try, and I did solo him, so whatever. Since first pet failed, we can just spam Chaos Beam till we kill him. It's not that it's difficult, though. It's done. Da -da 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 -da. Very easy. Well, also, I brought Enchanted Pen with Quills, Forbidden Curse, and Evanescence, perhaps? Yeah. Eldritch Mana Fiend with Arcane Blast, Surge of Power, Soul Rush, and Erudite Mana Fiend with Arcane Blast, Surge of Power, Arcane Storm. Start with Forbidden Curse. Uh, and Quills. I mean, you can press Evanescence if you really like to, but just, you're not gonna use this pet anymore, so just Press quills whenever you can. Just to get rid of the frog. Now we're gonna get swapped, so it doesn't matter what you press. And Arcane Blast. Arcane Blast again. And... Arcane Blast three times. And now. Go for Soul Rush. If you're lucky, you get Stun and then Surge of Power. Done. If you're not lucky, well, you die and then bring another pet. That's it. As always, for Michael Scarn, all you have to do is survive 11 turns. So I brought with me Igel Wisp with Ivana Sands, Wish, Arcane Blast, Magic Lamp with Wish, and Enchanted Pen with Ivana Sands, but doubt it I'm gonna use it. I'm pretty sure you bring whatever ha you have, and it still should be fine if you press right the abilities, for instance, for instance something defensive. Uh, Start with Arcane Blast, because he's gonna do this block abilities, uh, Silk Cocoon. 
Now Ivana sends. Uh, now Arcane Blast. And Wish. Arcane Blast. Arcane Blast again. And Avanas. I mean, I'm pressing Arcane Blast because it's easier for me to press one than pass. Seriously. That's how lazy I am. And... Wish. Doesn't matter, because we're gonna die. And just pass. As you can see, Michael Skarn is always easy win. For Sizzik, all you have to do is bring any pet at the first slot. I brought Zeradar because he's awesome. Uh, then you go for Servant of Demidos. Arcane Explosion, Siphon Anima, Soul Rush, and Sanctum Cup with Pounce, Stone Skin Dodge. Like I said, any pet. Don't get your heads over that I brought the shop mount, uh, pet. Don't get. Don't worry. You can bring whatever you have because it's gonna get swapped anyway. So, oh, you could actually go for the Terrell. Nah, it doesn't matter. Don't do this, because then you're gonna be like, Oh, you brought, you brought the storm Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, now real fight starts. Sanctum Cup must have more HP than Servant of Demidos. That's quite important, because we want Servant of Demidos to get swapped first. And what we do? Arcane Explosion. Once. Twice. And... And Siphon Anima, third one. Because we want to get healed. Arcane Explosion twice again. Okay. Go for Soul Rush. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to stun. It has to be... Oh wait, he can submerge, so they are the same speed. You might get trouble with this, so you can also go Arcane Explosion and Soul Rush. Because they have the same speed, which, is, which means they randomly go first. So your Soul Rush might get wasted, but doesn't matter. And go for Arcane Explosion, even if he's under the, under the ground because it hits the other one. And now Siphon Anima to heal. And Arcane Explosion twice. Yeah, as you can see, I, I'm using quite a lot AoE. And Soul Rush just to finish him off. Now, Squeezer comes in, we press Siphon Anima. Ah, uh, and it's wasted because the bubble. Ah, uh, I hate. I hate BFA pets. God damn it, it's so randomly. Doesn't matter. Just doesn't matter. Yeah, but it, on the other hand, it's you cannot predict what you get. So, yeah. Go for dodge. And pounce. Pounce again. 
we want to do it before he bubble, okay? So shield doesn't that doesn't matter. We want to just kill him. And because we go first, we do more damage. So yeah. Easy enough. For Talia, uh, Talia Spark, bro, I brought Sanctum Cup with uh, Pounce, Stone Skin Dodge, Enchanted Broom with Butter, Sandstorm Wind Up, and Enchanted Lantern with Beam, Flash, and Light. Well met. See you soon. Uh, start with Dodge. Next, Stone Skin. And Pounce. Pounce again. Pounce again. And now, pounce again. Pounce. Dodge. And pounce. And pounce. If you can, of course. Okay, enchanted broom comes in. Wind up. And wind up. Whiplash con uh, comes in, so press Sandstorm, because he's gonna do it the same. Next, Wind Up. Butter to get, of ri uh, get rid of Silky Cocoon. And Wind Up again. And now just whatever to die. That's silly. Oh my god, I could do two wind ups. Damn. Usually it doesn't happen that often, so don't beam to break the cocoon. Then flash. And light. Done. For the Jai, I brought Sanctum Cub with Pounce, Stone Skin, Dodge, a Cursed Hexer with Arcane Blast, Drain Blood, Weakness, and Enchanted Pen with Quills, Evanescence, Forboding Curse. All be welcome here. Stay safe out there. Start with Dodge. Then stone skin and pounce. Pounce till we can press dodge again. After dodge stone skin again. And bounce. And just bounce him to till we die. I mean, I could press dodge, save one turn, but doesn't matter. He's faster than us, so we press weakness. Next, arcane blast. Rain blood. Ah, arcane blast.
Switch Pet to Enchanted Pen. Is he? Yeah, so... For Bodding Curse. Then Evanescence. And Quills. Quills again. And Quills again. There you have it. Job done.